ita zvine zvadori konisa uri redada mari richiamba ichipida chihulwa nechine ratoni paburanga panda progressive busongwe maopetunti hi ha progressive ha vudipinduleli ha uri izvivewe ni chimi swa chine chatusa kana chashumana na u disambelidziso chado vachaifunza chado vachaisudzulusa na dzipfudzungure dzote dzinokoite ya ufana na neaira dzuranga a covid ni ato shumani no tena na realu selavana rine risive chipita chazo rasa ito richi aseledza richi amba uri rikoto dani chibanga hafa na vanga hafa hezi ya rejifu ni hezi ya wana zichinga rutusa ui sapanda mushumu vile zisa chichafu ribona liduwa lulua neline musi Rika hechi chipida, chaduwa lana musi chinechi dota tamuliwa. Rika unity of purpose. Rika uditugu faza uri arizuko niri rote. Rika utoni fauri ndila rido sumbezi wangabote yao. Zunongani omapima tukutuku. Rikori ndiayani. Ndi university yavo, rivana vavo, na une rapolika oni, ridote chelesa. Ah. I can think of Professor Ne Shandam. In this, as a good Namutla, he is very Kulukumbang of Ka history at University of Kavenda. And Nakambe Natsemba Saku, he is a good Raku Sungula, local University of Kavenda, Ishanganisati Hosita Hina, Taku Huma, Etin Dauto, Ambana Ambana, Tin Dauto Fika, Nsehu. So, our colleague was about Professor Ne Chandam. Or now, we are fulfilling our role to make history a university agenda. We should do an article on this. We are going to show us how to make us a better place to be. We are going to show you how to make us a better place to be. We are going to show you how to make us a better place to be. We are going to show you how to make us a better place to be. We are going to show you how to make us a better place to be. We are going to show you how to make us a better place to be. Professor Francis. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Zaga. Um, the challenge is that I am unable to copy what Professor Nishandama was doing here. So I think to be on the safe side, let me just say all protocols were observed. Um, let me recognize the Vice Chancellor and Principal, the Registrar, members of senior management, of uh, senior management, the senior royal leaders who are here and their delegates. Our strategic partners, we have already been uh, mentioned here by Professor Nechandama. I think we can only say thank you for gracing this event. This event resonates with our slogan in the Institute for Rural Development, where we say we are simply taking the university to its rightful owners. So today we are, we are hosting you here, but in reality, this event is yours. And I would also want to indicate that we are gathered here today uh, most of you will be aware that for almost 20 years we have been working in some of the communities where you are. For others, it's much shorter periods. So a lot has happened over those years. And what has been uh, very critical is that we realized along the way 
that without uh, a formal agreement in place between ourselves and the communities where we are working, we are sort of hamstrung in terms of what we can do. So along the way, we decided that it was important that we formalize this relationship so that as we drive out of the campus and going into the communities, we've got the blessings of the entire university that we have to be there. Now, I just want to indicate you know, the evolution of you know, where this um, signing ceremony actually came from. And I would want to start by talking about the events that unfolded from the workshop that we had 29 to 30 September in, at Grasslands. You know, some of you were there, and you also recall the focus of what we were doing that time. You know, during that workshop, we tried by all means to start to reimagine the type of university that we want. And in that res respect, we looked at what the university strategic plan is saying. The university is saying it wants to be relevant, it wants to have impact, and it wants to be engaged. So we said to ourselves, focusing on the realities of the six traditional authorities that are represented here today, what is it that would constitute relevance in your own respect? What would constitute engaged scholarship? What would constitute um, you know, impact? So after that workshop, there were a series of other workshops that now took place in the six traditional authorities where we were cementing the results of the workshop that took place in September. So we are now here today to now seal that agreement, those things that we worked on together. The MOU that we are going to be signing to today, which is a total departure from the norm, is something that is informed by our engaged activities, you know, in the different uh, traditional authorities. Now, just before I, you know, take my seat, I just want to give a few snippets of some of the things that, you know, beyond the signing of the MOU, where to? I think that question will always be asked. We don't want this MOU to go and gather dust. So you will find that, you know, there's a group of organizations that have already been introduced as strategic partners. They will also, I'm not here to speak on their behalf, but I will mention them. We have MAVU, which is, which is which whose focus is around sport development. And if, you know, I'm told they are active in six provinces of South Africa. We also have Scania Southern Africa represented here as a strategic partner. Uh, the Vembe Biosphere Reserve was supposed to be here, but I'm told there's a competing um, uh, activity elsewhere, but we, it's part of the strategic partners. We also have FANPAN, which is Food, Agriculture, Natural Resources Policy Analysis Network which is headed by uh, Dr. Chiridz Mazanzira, who is the head of mission. They are also giving their support and they sent their message here. Uh, furthermore, we also have had a lot of discussions with Kondra Lesa in, in terms of the full soldiering of some of the work that we are doing. They also sent a message of support, which I think we will read, we will read along the way. Now, in conclusion, we are saying that, you know, going forward in terms of implementation, Implementation of this work will look at the village as an operational area, you know, as an operational area. And we'll, when it comes to planning, the plan for development for each area, if I take, for example, the Manenje area of 10 villages, it will be informed by what comes off, out of Matauru, Machena, you know, all those 10, 10 villages that are there, and then we've got the plan. And in the course of doing that, we are engaging children, youth, adults and community leaders so that their voices are, are amplified. Furthermore, I've, we've also indicated in the past as we were discussing that we also want to use sport to be able to mobilize young people to be participating in development. Hence, we brought MAVU on board. We also indicate that we would want to, we also want to you know, adopt at least one preschool, at least one primary school, at least one secondary school in each traditional authority so that they become more like our areas where we can demonstrate how a university can transform. Let me not spend more time. I would have wanted to speak more, but I think for now, let me take my seat. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much, uh, uh, Professor uh, Francis. Uh, we are now going to have uh, words of commitment uh, by different stakeholders. Uh, Professor Francis has already indicated that it appears like uh, we don't have uh, a representative from VBR, so uh, let me invite all the stakeholders uh, to the fore. VBR, Mavu, Wembe District Municipality, Wembe Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Fanpen, Scania, Contra Lesa. So I would like to request that we come to the fore in that order. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Demacero ni Abusheni. Hello, Dumelang. My name is Ofenza Matlala. I'm here as the representative for Marvu. I'm a program coordinator for Marvu and have been with them um, mm -hmm. since their very beginning. <laughs> um, Marvu is a non profit organization that aims to create access to sports at grassroots in disadvantaged areas and communities. Um, we are an organization that aims to ignite a passion for sport. We want to develop the South African sport, South African sport through um, providing capacity building programs and sustain, for sustainable development and also creating support systems for emerging elite athletes and club development. We have various um, programs that we do in, in the communities, working in five, six different provinces now, as we just um, added Northern Cape to our footprint now. Um, we do facility, facility utilization programs with, um, where we rec um, recruit local youth and we train and capacitate them to become facilitators and coaches um, with the partner schools that we work in. Um, implementing programs for children from grade four to around grade seven, and now also introducing some of the secondary grades of grade eight and nine through our life skills program in partnership with UNICEF. Um, we also do um, community events and club development. Um, I want to go back to our bill on uh, life skills because we just, because of the pandemic now, we also just now started introducing an online program where we encourage dialogues with kids um, from ages 12 to 14. We encourage dialogues um, of life skills, discussing social ills on gender-based violence, bullying, xenophobia, social cohesion, and encouraging self-awareness, self-confidence, and development. We aim to develop the child holistically through all the programs that we do, using the youth um, in those areas. The one thing that we have identified um, in all the communities that we go to is there isn't a lack of facilities, but rather the lack of capacity to actually fully utilize all these um, facilities or areas that we are in. And we as Marvel wish to come into your communities. We wish to engage with your youth and the children, even the women and adults and fathers, uncles, we want to engage with them through community events, through programs, through aerobics events even, and just to capacitate them to become facilitators, either through sport or the life skills program, as I mentioned. Um, yeah, so as Marvel, we would like to come into these different communities as um, we have had quite a few programs in the Vembe district, but I believe with the communities that are represented here today, we haven't had much um, activities happening in those areas and that is why we are here today. We would like to enlarge our footprint and come into your communities, work with you to essentially accelerate your growth as a community through your children and your youth. Thank you.
Good morning, and thank you, Chairperson of the session for the day. Allow me to say all protocol observed. Uh, we are the Chamber of Business. There are many aspects that we do, but I decided to just pick one or two. The first one that we do is to represent business to government to make sure that the recent unfair competition against our businesses. And to that effect, most of us will know that we have the competition commission that makes sure that if ever there is a business coming from outside the country, they first have to scrutinize to check if we do not have such capacity within the country to be able to do the same services that the company from outside is bringing. So we are then able to sit and lobby in that space and make sure that there isn't a business that comes to South Africa to kill another business in South Africa. On the ground level or on the community level, we are almost like farmers. So when we come to our communities, we are actually looking for an opportunity to plant a business. It could be a spaza shop, it could be a general dealer, a motor vehicle workshop, or it could be a farm. That's what we are planting in communities. And we are planting in communities because that is the only way to protect the people under your communities from the harshness of the economy, thereby making sure that there are jobs for the people, making sure that we do not have poverty in our communities, and making sure that issues of inequalities do not affect our youth, our women, and our children. However, what saddens us is that in the past couple of years, roughly 20 years, in most of the communities, particularly under the traditional leadership and the townships, where we had planted businesses, when we look back, they have been uprooted. There was a spaza shop, there was a general dealer. In my family, the Jenny family, there are a couple of businesses that are standing empty that were running very well in the 70s, the 80s, and early 90s. Why is that? It is because within the communities, the competition commission doesn't work in that space. However, the traditional leadership is expected to assume the same role of the competition commission. Why is a spaza shop being brought by somebody from a different community to your community to kill the spaza shop for a person who lives in your community? Now, if it was in the olden days where the chiefs and the kings were relying on the money from their communities, where would the chieftaincy get their income? We need to look at these businesses the same way as it was in the olden days, where they needed to be protected because they were providing for the kingdoms. Even now, they are providing for the kingdoms through the tax system we still need to protect them. And we think that this signing ceremony today might also be an opportunity for us to have that protection. And if we could make a request, therefore, we would ask that after these MOUs, maybe one of those things that we must look at is local economic development by laws in our communities. And by law, we are allowed as a community to set the rules of business within our communities. How do we allow someone to come and open a spaza shop? Who do we allow? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Let me start by saying all protocol observed. Um, 
On behalf of the Food Agriculture and Natural Resources Policy Analysis Network, which is FANPAN, um, South Africa is faced with triple challenges of poverty, inequality and unemployment, and the triple burden of malnutrition, consisting of deficiency of macronutrients leading to malnutrition, deficiency of micronutrients and overnutrition and its associated overweight and non-communicable diseases, which is shortened as NCDS. Therefore, there is a dire need to transform local agriculture and food systems. More often, there is a disconnect between academia research-based evidence with practice at local level and policy making. And therefore, an area of collaboration based on FANPAN's mandate of creating a conducive policy environment, it comes on board with the university through co-created policy research and analysis, building the capacity of local and national institutions to address agriculture, food and, nat and natural resources policies for both the supply side and demand side of evidence and increase debate and dialogue through the use of knowledge pro products, for example, your policy briefs and advisory notes and convening of platforms. At the heart of this partnership, or at the heart of the partnership rather, could be joint programming to ensure the evidence generated by the university academics and, stu and students to influence local practice and policy making. For and on behalf of FANPEN, Dr. Chilizima Zivandera, the CEO and head of mission. And if I should continue, they will also have a message of support from the Congress of Traditional Leaders of South Africa, Contralesa, and it reads as follows. Dear Prof. Francis, let me apologize for not coming to the function in person. Thank you very much for the good work of, that your institute is doing on behalf of the University of Venda. The signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the University and the six royal leaders in Vembe District is history in the making. We as Contralesa in Vembe District are proud to be your ally. Thus, we support and appreciate the new partnerships. Congratulations to the parties involved. May the almighty God bless you and grant you the energy and wisdom to implement the contents of the MOUs to ensure that people live better lives. Contralesa will remain your trusted companion in development. Chairperson, Contralesa Vembe District, Prince G. Matebola. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Program Director. W one of the things that I did was actually to, I was counting, because I think everybody has spoken, so I'm the last speaker, and I was counting the time. They all went, they were, they actually reserved quite a lot of time for me to say a lot. I'm actually very excited to be part of this program, and if I go over my time, Program Director, you will forgive me but you must just know that it's actually because of excitement. Uh, first and foremost, uh, who we are, uh, my name is David Gotore. I'm from a company called Lionshare Automotive. We are a Scania dealership in Limpopo region, the whole of Limpopo. Scania is a manufacturing company that manufactures buses and trucks. So 80% of the buses that you actually see in Toyando, especially here in Toyando, they are Scania buses, okay? So that's why we, we are actually here. We have got three dealerships. We have one here in Toyando, in Nandoni Dam, which we are actually in the process with LIDA to build a world-class uh, workshop in Shandima. That will create what employment? That will also get all our young boys and girls in TVET colleges and universities to actually be trained to be mechanic and some of them to mentor them 
to how to run a business. We also building a world class in a workshop in Polokwane, which we are actually launching end of February. Would we'll actually invite most of the people that are here in the University of of Venda, of University of Venda. Yes, why we are here. In normal circumstances, communities go to the university to look for opportunity to be educated. But I'm very proud of this university by going to the community and working with the traditional leaders to think. I think that's the way to go. And we are really here to support this initiative. This is not our first time. We were part of the Masia Rambuda Secondary School project where we did a science lab there as in 2019. We are hoping to see more projects coming, but we had the challenge we have today of COVID that this kind of uh, hanged, uh, slowed down. But I'm thinking, I'm, I'm actually saying I'm very happy with what the university is doing today to say despite the challenge of COVID, they are starting on this initiative and we want to be part of it. And I'm saying as Africans, COVID years came as a challenge. We should not look at it as a problem, but as a challenge, but it should teach us how do we think out of the box. We should not do the things the same way we used to do. We should never blame or look upon Europe. We should, as Africans, to go forward, to look at, say, what do we do? What can we do to improve our own people's life? And this is what the University of Venda has just done. And I'm saying thank you, and I'm glad to be part of this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, uh, all the speakers. And I should also appreciate that uh, we are up to so far doing so well in terms of time. So we are now proceeding with the program. And let me now take this opportunity and invite our Vice Chancellor and Principal, Dr. Bernard Ntambelin, uh, to give us a keynote address. So let's welcome Dr. Ntambelin to the podium. Chimiza Mushumo or Dogotera Zaga Moranguri Murane wa University Mumareli wo Advocate Rambani Moranguri wa Institute for Rural Development Professor Joseph Francis Moranguri wa Community Engagement Directorate Professor Bonani Nechandama we made it wa Tobele Masia in absentia. Osigulu Madonsi, Tobele Manenje, Senior Royal Leader of the Chivasi Dynasty, Osinkulu Njaganjaka, Acting Kosi of Sintumore, a representative from Mavu, Bembe Biosphere Reserve. Bembe District Municipality, Bemba Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Pen Pen Scania and Contra Lesser, Lecturer in the Department of Psychology, Ms. B. Coco, colleagues, guests, and ladies and gentlemen. Today marks a very important day in the history of the University of Venda as we gathered here to witness the signing of the Memorandum of uh, Understanding with six traditional councils that are represented here this morning. Program Director, let me take this opportunity to commend the work done by Professor Joseph Francis and his team for organizing and planning this important event this morning. The strategic role that is played by the Institute for Rural Development 
in working with our traditional leaderships, stakeholders, and both levels of government is very strategic and is in line with our objective of becoming an engaged university. The University of Venda, like any other universities in the, in the country and in the world, we aspire to establish meaningful local, regional, and national and international linkages. Because that's what universities are there for. And in positioning the investor vendor for impact and relevance, our strategic plan 2021-2025 has put emphasis on four interrelated strategic thrusts, namely the first one being student-centeredness and engaged scholarship. Intrapreneurial university, governance for standing scholarship, and lastly, the linkages, partnerships, and the internationalization. Our strategic plan foregrounds these linkages in a simple but very effective way in its quest to be an engaged university. Our view of the university is that uh, university must be catalyst for building inclusive societies. Program director, uh, Sir Hilary Beckless, who was a vice chancellor for, of the University of West Indies in the late 80s, made the following important observation and argued the following, which I quote, that universities are not built to serve themselves. They are built and resourced to serve their communities and their nations, close quote. The statement by Sir Hilary Beckless is significant because universities have enormous influence and a unique opportunity over their communities, societies, and in shaping people's ideas. Our national development plan, which was adopted by our government in a cabinet in 2012, rightly acknowledges the, that higher education as a major, is a major driver of transformation and also of the knowledge systems which are linked to the economic development of the country. According to the National Development Plan, universities are key in the development of South Africa. So we cannot talk about the development of South Africa outside of our universities. So universities should lead and, and lead the charge in addressing the developmental challenges by providing relevant contextualized knowledge, insights, and locally relevant recommendations for policy formulation and also for implementation. They must also begin to solve the existential problems, creating technological products and producing new knowledge that can be adapted for economic, political, and social improvement. So that's the role that universities must play. Program director, our university next year will be celebrating its 40th anniversary. And from the humble beginning, since in 1982 when the university was established, the University of Venda has emerged as a, one of the strong comprehensive universities in the country. And it offers various certificates, diplomas, bachelor's degrees, master's, and, and doctoral degrees. And we are proud about the achievement that the university has uh, reached over the period that we are now. All our traditional councils and our key stakeholders that are here this morning will be invited to these celebrations. And we look forward to you planning or playing a very meaningful, important role in the planned celebrations that will be underway. Because in our view, university belongs to you. University is you, it belongs to you. Our view is that university should not only lead in research, but must provide relevant solutions that will contribute to South Africa's development and also priorities. In terms of uh, job creations, the poverty alleviation, food security, redress, and development, 
nation building and promotion of human rights culture. We find ourselves where we have been deviled by these kind of social ills. Today as we stand here, we are much more bombarded with this gender-based violence. And these are the things that ourselves at the university and yourself as the leadership of societies, we can join hands together and make sure that we begin to address some of these uh, challenges and the scourge that are becoming endemic in our societies. You know. By the signing of this memorandum of understanding, signify the very important role that, you know, from the university side, as led by Professor Francis, that we are willing to make sure that we put our efforts in making sure that we begin to implement the content of what will be contained in our memorandum of understanding. Because we believe in working with you, we are able to change the country and our region as it were. You came in a time when um, in my office, you know, in engagement with Dr. Zaga and also with Professor Francis, we were planning that, you know, we must make sure that we become visible, that we come to each and every traditional council to introduce ourselves in what we are doing. Because we believe you must be concerned of what happens in the space. If things are not going in the way they should be going, you got rights to come and approach us and sit us down to say, things that are happening doesn't resonate with your understanding. And these are the doors that we want to make sure that we open for you because we believe this university belongs to you and we belong to you. So with these few words, let me thank you and also welcome you to the University of Venda. Thank you. Rolibuabo principal for Dr. Tambelen, Hakensa for principal Dr. Tambelen. So, I Tate Kangarlo, I Kombela, director of Hinawa Legal Services, advocate Nemukura Sakubata, but a facilitator item ya the signing of MOU. Uh, Advocate Namgura, over to you. Uh, thank you, Program Director Dr. Zaga. Greetings to the VC the University Registrar, the University Executive Management Team, and the team from UNIVEN. Greetings to all our chiefs and all those who accompany them, and uh, greetings to all our visitors. I am here, and I'm not alone. I'm accompanied by Mrs. Sepiwe Lubisi. Uh, there she is, there she is. I want our chiefs to see her. She looks young, but she's married. <laughs> so chances of getting her to the royal house are very slim. <laughs> uh, so as for Dr. Zaga, you are doing well today. You are speaking too much of Shangan, and you promised that indeed you will speak this Shangan, and you are doing well. But you know, you must stick to my advice to say commoners are not allowed to exceed two wives. So no matter how you speak Shangan, you know, it, it, you must remain with your wife. So I'm here to represent legal services. And uh, when I say legal services, I'm representing the legal services of all these institutions that are here, all those who have taken part in the preparation of this uh, MOU to become what it is today. But before I preside over the signing, I must just commend our Vice Chancellor and Principal to say just after the introduction uh, and the approval of this new 2021 and 2025 strategic plan, he has been moving in a jet speed to ensure that uh, he get all the ducks on the row for the implementation of this 
uh, strategy. But, but we are seeing results, and thanks to Prof. Francis for the wonderful uh, job that he's doing for, for the university. We have shared the MOU in front of us. There have been inputs from various you know, stakeholders to the extent that today we are here with a final product, a final product that I'm going to present for signatures. And uh, I can confirm VC and the team which is here that uh, we have worked very well on the document and it's well prepared. And we need to commend all those who have taken part in putting together this document. And I think they must be applauded for the good work they've done. <clears throat> So the MOU is legally compliant, and uh, of course, by signing this agreement, parties are saying there are objectives that have been sent, set into this agreement, and we are agreeing that we will ensure the implementation until we have implemented whatever that is contained in this document. So for purposes of signing, as we are now proceeding to the signing stage, I would request that uh, Ms. Luvisi come to the fore, and she will assist in terms of distributing the document. Don't mind her dress. Before we came here, we were, we were from court. So she does respect our chiefs, but for today, because we're coming from court, she could not heed to, to that. Uh, so. I'm going to give her, uh, as I read the name, um, the document and she will distribute. And the relevant party that I, I will read the name here, as I read the name, I want to see the hand. The uh, uh, then the, the document will be distributed. What's uh, that? Because of this setup of COVID and the likes. So, but we'll request that our uh, you know, media people must do the round to ensure that they capture all our chiefs and the VCS, they will be exchanging those documents. And for purposes of signing, Mr. Richo sign up, the chief will sign. And after the chief, I'm hoping that the chief will be having two people who will witness on behalf of the chief. And then the VC as, as well will sign and have two witnesses uh, to witness to each and every uh, document. So I want to see the signatures as it appears on the, on the document itself. So with those few words, uh, Dr. Zaga, I will now start to, uh, to read the names. We do have Sintumure Traditional Council. We do have in our midst Madonsi Traditional Council. Masia Traditional Council is in absentia, who will make the necessary arrangements. Oh, okay, there's a representative there from Masia Traditional Council. Wonderful. Manenje Traditional Council. Manenje is here. Uh, we do have Njakanjaka Traditional Council. Here he is. She was a traditional council. I'm told you will join in between. So for purposes of signing, it is correct that the documents were prepared and were finalized in my office. And they slept in my office. But uh, trust me, I did not temper or put anything dangerous in the document. So. Let us proceed and sign, and then uh, we will take it from there.
So I'm, I'm told, yeah, and I'm advised that the chiefs were accompanied by at least one person. So meaning that it may not be possible to get two witnesses. And this is how we'll do it. There is no problem who witnessed there. It means that the witness of Njakanjaka may witness on uh, Masia and just like that, so that we end up having all the four signatures for the witnesses and the signature of the main signatory. Yes, they must as well initial each page, except for the page where you are putting your signature. Uh, our, our media people must do rounds and we must get all these pictures where our chiefs and the witnesses are signing the document. Ma uh, Madam Luvisi, when the document is fully signed by the chiefs and the witnesses, it should be handed to our VC so that he may as well, in the meantime and in the interest of time, be starting to, to sign. Get also the, what called the, yeah, sanitizer for the VC.
sumo. Okay, I am coming back now to indicate that we have concluded the signing of the MOU. There is now a relationship between the University of Venda, 
and the Ntumule Traditional Council, Masia Traditional Council, Njakajaka Traditional Council, Manaji Traditional Council, Madonsi Traditional Council, and Chivasi Traditional Council. I've already indicated here to say, by signing here, we are committing to say, we will not depart from one another until the set objectives have been achieved. And I always say if it was in a, a, a groom and a bride wedding, we would say until uh, death uh, do us apart. But here, that is not the case. We say until such time that we have ob I mean, uh, ob uh, obtained, we have achieved whatever that is contained in the MOU has been achieved. That will only be the time. And I hope we are still going to engage further and until such time that we ensure that our community are getting what they're supposed to be getting. And with those few words, I would say there's an indication, Prof. Nechandama, to say you are indeed engaging because we are seeing that you have engaged and uh, Prof. Uh, Francis is finishing it off. Uh, Dr. Zaga, the stage is yours. Thank you. We'll request that uh, you bring along your signed document in front uh, for a group photo with a vice chancellor. Okay, this is how it is going to happen. We'll uh, request our VC to be number one there, and then I will read out the, the names, and there will be social distancing here. We are going to have a photo with uh, uh, that page of signature, page earlier signature, and then they will take one pick or two, and thereafter, uh, Dr. Zaga will take over. Ma Donzi. And I think the... Yeah, a good setup now. Yes. <laughs> this is Madonsi, and I think they must be uploaded. I think they. <clears throat> Manenje, traditional cancer. The sanitizer must be closed. In Tumure, traditional cancer. Jakanjaka, traditional cancer. <laughs> Let's upload them, please. <laughs> Masia, traditional cancer. Thank 
Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Advocate Nemukura, for handling this item uh, so well. So, Nkarlo ita uniketa ti hosita ina, sa kubata la matlin vata tababa na maritu. So, ita sungula hi osinkulu madonsi. Thank you, Program Director. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I would like to say thanks for Professor Francis and his team, especially the university, uh, to give us a chance as the community of Madons, especially in the a poverty that we have in our mind, not in our stomach. We have a poverty in our mind. And uh, <clears throat> for, for Madonzi community, it shows is ready to work with the university at all time. And we'll support all the call that can come from the university as community will give the best and the best in our land. So on these few words, I can say to you, all of you, thank you very much. Thank you. Kensa Hosinkulu, Madonsir, the Umberabo Travera, Bo Manej. Program Director, <coughs> Fellow Traditional Authority present here today. Vice, Vice Chancellor and Management of the University, University of Vendor Students, Stakeholders, and Distinguished Guests, all protocols observed. <coughs> it is indeed a privilege for us as Managed Traditional Council to be here today to be part of this journey. The issue of sustainable community development can no longer be realized without the involvement of all community leaders, stakeholders, and relevant stakeholders in tackling the impact of climate change created by the action of the same community that we lead when it comes to the preservation and protection of our environment. Since a lot of these actions that are detrimental to our environment do happen at our doorstep as community leaders. It is therefore our collective responsibility that we come up with a strategic intervention through collaboration and partnership as community leaders and not leave these tasks to the academics and environmental practitioner for the sake of a future generation to come. On behalf of the Manenge Traditional Council, we are truly excited about this journey, as we believe it will create the environment that we will be proud of, and we are committed in making a difference in a community where we lead as our environmental challenges are different in nature and present a unique challenge given our geographical location by working with our stakeholders. We are indeed going to transform our communities by taking ownership of the protection and preservation of our environment for the sake of a better tomorrow. In closing, sometimes in 2020, 
just before the COVID-19 pandemic, we took an initiative and we wrote to the University of, of Venda School of Law regarding Act Number no. 3 of 2019, 2019, which guides us as community leaders about the traditional and Christian leadership. And the, the university gave us an opportunity to come and do a presentation around the assistance that we need as traditional leaders. I would like to propose that in the spirit of collaboration and partnership, this initiative be extended to all our senior traditional leaders so that we can all be trained around the provision of this act so that we can discharge our responsibility of leading our community in our, uh, an informed manner. Well, Vice Chancellor, do I want to go to the next thing about to be able to move car? Do I want to see some of the stuff? I want to see some of the stuff. Do I want to see some of the stuff? Do I want to see some of the stuff? Do There are disappointed around the moon and look for no both work with Dr. Mabon or Toro Moka. There will be no advocate Ramban, but never about Tinan. Once again, we would like to thank everyone involved for this great opportunity. Thanks. Rolly Ward, don't bear away, Mara Water, Massia. On behalf of the Masia Traditional Council and on my own behalf, I would like to convey our words of appreciation for the progress that we have made thus far. The progress that is defined by the current moment in which we are signing a memorandum of agreement with the Investor Vendor. We talk of progress because we have been in the relationship with the university for quite a number of years, partnering on issues of development of our community. The Masaya community is better now because of the contribution and the commitment that the university has demonstrated in ensuring that it reaches out to, to our community to ensure that life becomes better for our people. This memorandum of agreement is yet another achievement that we must all celebrate. Thank you very much. Sororibua, Domberabo, Osinko, Lunjakanjaka, Babunaru. Thank you, Program Director, the Vice Chancellor, and the Principal, Executive Members present, Professor Francis and your team. Fellow really that's present, students from the University of Venda, good morning. I'm not going to give a speech, but rather to say I'm very much excited to be given this opportunity on this very special day. It's a special day in the sense that it has been said that it is the first time in the history of this university to have this kind of a relationship with real leaders within the communities around. 
I think this deserves to be given a round of applause. <laughs> this is a long awaited day. The team and Professor Francis will agree with me that we'll come a long way. It has been some years. Professor Francis, together with your team, coming to our different villages to encourage and assist our communities in identifying the needs in their respective area and also to take advantage of what they can do to really deal with the issues of development. We as the Jagan Jagan Traditional Community, Traditional Council, we say we thank you very much for the university of Venda through Professor Francis and his team. For the patience and the perseverance, it has not been easy. It has been a very long journey. In the process, we had to come across a number of challenges. You nonetheless persisted because you knew that a day of this nature will come. And I really thank you for that. As the Njaga Njaga community, we are saying, or we are to make about, we are about to make these following commitments. That we commit ourselves to implement the activities that build the capacities of grassroots community members to champion their own developmental agendas. We commit to create a platform in which all relevant stakeholders are given enough opportunity to participate and discuss issues and make decisions about their own programs through your assistance, which we believe that will enhance the issue of development in the, around our area. We are prepared to share knowledge and skills with the University of Venda, students, and those who will be engaged into research in our respective community in order for the betterment of the lives of our people. We are committed to create a sustainable and enabling environment for the university to mount in a partnership with this community of Njaga Njaga, which we don't think and expect or the relationship will die. It is not only about the realization of the objectives in the memorandum, Advocate Lambani. We still have more to do with the University of Venda. We are committed to work with you in mobilizing resources to ensure that all the programs and projects that we have are realized. To our strategic partners, we have heard what you are doing, and I think you are very relevant to our communities. Njaga Njaga in particular, you are welcome. Thank you, Program Director. Thank you so much, Akensa. Uh, acting Kosibo Sintumore. Mshumu, <laughs> Vachikuya mi rivachisheranga ngomu. Zino ye. Zito nga ezi zitu ye. Ezi zitu zinera kuita zone na musiafa noni. Eh, Awawa university. Vado tu saka ustu zoraru nga uri. Vado, vado tore rafa la peturi. Ezi zitu zinezo kuitu wa zoru, gera, zoru gerana u, ushimisonga vatu. Eh, Kariri kazi tu zavurimi. Una bomo afi na bone vosarao, vane vakori mabaka diri mangandire la yakare. 
zvino ezviri na va university hava vana vachivera va room family vadotfusa vachida vacherusumbaya zvori kulimera ukula kwakare asikone kazwa mashereni una dzi project dzine rakofuwa mashereni mashereni asika asishumiswa nga ndira yone nga uri vathu vadivi uri zvitwa nga ndira ifiyo hava university vadori disera vora dzindiwo kazwa mashereni vada varusumbaya zvori na izvi zvi chimbira hani kazwa kazwa siyarara huna zvinji zvine va university vadori kufusa kazwa na kazwi tu zvine zvatonga kha kuvusere kazwi tu zva milayo zva milayo rina eh vo advocate vashukeva votovera mara vanga si zvikone vavote zvino hafa university ngori hukoitwa zvene zvo zvitu zva milayo vadori rumera vatu vada vasumbedza dzikoro dzacho uri zva milayo zviko chimbira nga ndira ifiyo Una zvinji zvera sainera zone usaina into na musi yamba zvitozvura nga manda ndikare rina vo Francis vachikorusumbeza zvino mara rono to saina rivonunga ro divofa na vo Francis vo divofa rikorivo nga manda nda rolivuwa kosivo sintumure Nandiko vusa mbudzisa afanga vone mkula ndiko bayo wafindula. Bariba wachidiba mabundu wachitu wanga manjanja zuno. Echi za mirindori badoto wa mbudza za udirono vera mdangi. Ero libuwe. Ndido jia chino nichipinga ndra umbera bo university registrar bo advocate Edward Rambani uri vade bari libuchere. Advocate Rambani over to you. Chimbiza mshumo Wodo kotera Zaga Thank you very much And I must thank the organizers of this event That They did limit All of the speakers but they never limited me <laughs> because they know I can just speak forever. <laughs> Others were given 20 minutes, 10 minutes. For me, the vote of thanks is just open-ended. <laughs> so I can talk as much as I like <laughs> because I have to thank all of you. Thank you very much, uh, the director. You did a sterling work, and uh, you made us indeed feel very relaxed, and that all of us were able to participate as expected. I must thank the volunteer whom I never got a name, but God has the name, because that volunteer was talking to God, asking God to be part of this meeting. And we appreciate it. God doesn't respond in a way that we can easily hear. Sometimes he uses silent voices sometimes a small voice. It doesn't come with showers. Sometimes it comes with thunders. But we appreciate that you put us through to him and invited him to be part of us. We thank you for your volunteering to do the work that your name is recorded in the book of life. We must thank Mukororo, Mutabatsindi, Musinandeva Chivona, Nechanda, Oritanga Nezaho, Nango Rafa, 
re fetho ha bodi re ba re tshitamana dvalesa chapela u to tanganedzwa ho ho la re ba re tshivoto tamana re re khamusi re ba re to funa re to ya ninge dzithabane dza thengwe ra ya ninge madhakane a manenje khamusi ra se kobana mingwe mitsindo nga ninge ri ko dipina ra wera ri ko ribu wa mtabatsindi o shuma zwa bodi nda we must thank Prof. Francis. I really do not have the vendor word, neither the English word, for the work that you have done. I really don't know, even in Tsonga, I know she Tsonga better than Ibo Bozaka. <laughs> Anta ku bhela ku nyamutla. Hey, anti ibi man. Uri boni sile ku ni hava marito. Aku ku kenta ku tirolo. I so warn. I really wish some bird can just fly around and pass the really words of gratitude to reach your mind. Maybe in Latin, which nobody may be knowing, <laughs> which I know. Viva, Prof. Francis. We must thank all the stakeholders engaged in this process. Mavu, Bembe District Municipality, the Bembe Chamber of Commerce. Bembe Chamber of Commerce have been with us and we appreciate this continuation. We, for all of you who may not be knowing, we also had this kind of an arrangement with them and we appreciate their commitment. And we thank all of the people who represented all the stakeholders engaged in this process. Scania, I do not even know how to thank Contra Lesa because the chiefs are Contra Lesa. We thank you for making sure that indeed the University of Venda is the university of yours. We do not hate the name University of Venda. We know to you it is not an ethical, ethic or what, ethnicity university. It's just the region in the map that it is situated in an area called Venda. It is not the university of the Venda speaking people. It is your university. He university ya kanja kanja. He university ya kama donzi. He imperu. It's our university. It's our institution. And I'm so happy that indeed today we had to have this signing event an event that brings us all together as one society. And we shall live and own the institution together. If I was an advisor to God, <laughs> I could have asked him, call it Mapungu, uh, Bie, or whatever. I wasn't there. And God decided you 
will be Venda. And that is how we are. So don't take it in an ethnicity driven or characterized institution. It is your university. This is a moment which we all wish should have happened in 1982, that we are all here together. All these traditional leaders represent this university. And I'm so happy that I can easily drive around in a university signed vehicle ni kanita kama dozi ni humala ni ta ka bonja ka njaka ni kan ya busukumekara ni kwaku kwaku ni hunza kona kwa la haya working together for the betterment of the institution also you said a wonderful statement that indeed we need to develop and indeed for the society, for the community that we lead. We thank you very much. And in Astivaku, Nalekaya, Batastivaku, Amir Konala. I meet Jelaniku, Kunavan, Batifi, my Wanams. So everything has been recorded. And one day, this history will replay itself. agreement <laughs> Nenduko Takara, this university has indeed spread out and opened up its wings and joined the whole community where it is situated. We are going to work together very well. Thank you very much, my boss, Bon Tambele. It is as if you were supposed to have been born earlier and come here earlier, but we couldn't indeed be all advisors to God. <laughs> he brought you at his own time, and it is now. We thank you very much. This is an epoch-making uh, moment. It has never happened, never. And it's a pity we are not all of us here together because of COVID. But it is reaching out to our people and the impact of this university will live forever. Thank you very much, Wene Mukura. You did a wonderful job. I never knew that I had such a good son. <laughs> and thank you all, those who participated, and our media people. I wasn't joking, we have our media here. And as you see, I'm appearing on the screen, and uh, it will remain and if you want any record of this event, ask my director here, who was also the director of this event. You will still get a video, and you can show it back at home to your communities that indeed we have cemented a relationship with the University of Venda. Raulibua, for University Registrar, Advocate uh, uh, Edward Gamban, Nangozi, Avonaraori, Babangane, Patsi, Naminga. 
register. So we are now getting towards the end of our uh, event, and I would like to invite Mrs. Uh, B. Koko, who is a lecturer in the Department of Psychology, to come and give us announcements. Mrs. Koko, over to you. University <laughs> Um, Rochimbera Misanda Yot Year Six as a university, very far of Dingaman Rana Rano, very gagamisa, and we felt like royalty. Nangori the common. Zino Namusi, it's our time to return the pleasure. Um, now. Rono de Zita Morao, but we are happy to continue. Zinon de do Humbera Uri, Mahosia Shuro Oth, Nabatu of Ferichezao, Nazi delegates Zoth, Zirehaf, Bado Rango Pandangavo Zag, Vodiva to the principal dining hall, the Maringani, I never do Sika, but to Kalinga, Bamba, Maringana, our principal Lavashi. Um, Rine vangwe, namusi ari ileni, riambara maringa na rine, tiru rina msanda, rido barichi kwa mbara maringa na rine, richi kwa bono riba sanda vaiti, samara rida rido barichi kwa lela hafa nda, una zuluwa zuna za dozori, rinde la hafa nda rido paka, roba rachi kwa zuifu na arari obo usi COVID, kamu se roba rachi dobara na petu uhuru, una rado barichi kwa toa u, but unfortunately, the odds are against us. Zino, the Rias de Bazaruna Covid, Aranga Bodimi Maskia, Shunan Rodosita, Gautaba Nabuku. So Ricoribu and Gamanda, who condemned you, when them could have a hand for two and a mouse. Zino Basongo Gugu Lauri, Narinere Nakusangi Gana, Rodibu, Arienda, everyone is in a pair of Konoya Maringan. 